Hello everyone, today we're going to be reviewing Big Ambitions. Big Ambitions is a revolutionary role-playing business simulation developed and published by Hovgard Games. You build yourself up from nothing to the biggest entrepreneur in New York City. You can achieve this by opening small businesses or growing huge corporations with the complete freedom to do so. But the question is, is the game any good? We'll be looking at gameplay, graphics, UI, sound design, community and dev engagement to find out if the game is worth your investment of time and money, right here on Virtuous Game Reviews. Before we get started, here is a quick breakdown on how we do our reviews. We look at the game in six sections, at the end of each section we'll give it a score out of 10 and finally give our verdict whether the game is worth your time and money. The gameplay in Big Ambitions has a unique approach to the otherwise popular business management genre. You take the role of an entrepreneur trying to make it in the Big Apple. Currently there are two game modes that you can play, story mode where you are taken under the wing of a successful family member Uncle Fred and starting out with little to no money the player is tasked with developing a string of small businesses. The story mode introduces you to the features and mechanics of the game gaining the knowledge and confidence to make it on your own. The game then offers players a more flexible sandbox approach that allows them complete freedom to build their empire however they see fit, providing additional settings which can determine the difficulty of the game. You control your character and your businesses as it starts to grow, you are able to hire employees to run and maintain your businesses from customer service, cleaners to logistics, HR and services such as web development. There are RPG elements such as energy, hunger and happiness which if neglected can lead to serious consequences. Honestly, for a game that is still in early access, there is so much you can do. There are a few points that I would like to mention on the gameplay, but with development I definitely think it can improve. The character creation options are limited but allows the players to somewhat customise themselves, the AI customers seem to get themselves lost when in store, there are exploits within the game such as putting a bed in your store and sleeping forever until you've built the necessary capital to invest further, there definitely needs to have checks put in place that limits the amount of sleep that you can have. Finally, once established with multiple businesses running themselves and the player has less involvement, their gameplay loop reduces drastically. This would require developers to look at potential end game activities which currently is very limited. With these points in mind, but also considering the amount of current functionality in such a new game with a lot of potential improvement, VGR is rating it 7 out of 10. Graphically the art style of the game is nice and crisp, the developers have definitely put time into how everything works together. Even though it is top down you do feel like you are immersed in New York City and even the map design is loosely accurate to the actual street names and locations. Within that the architecture would seem in line with what you would expect in their relevant districts, but what would I know, I am British after all. The design of the vehicles both traffic and drivable look like the real models they are based on and the lighting and post processing of the world with realistic day night cycle looks great too. The character animations do need some work as they remind me of a Super Mario Nation character. That being said, whilst the graphics and art style are in line with what the developer is going for and we think actually are very good, it is being let down by the animations. Therefore, VGR will be rating this a 7 out of 10. As Big Ambitions is heavily reliant on user interface, I feel like this is a large area for improvement. At first you notice the UI is clean and simple, but the more you dive into the game you start to quickly realise its flaws. Features that should easily be linked are spread over multiple windows and tabs making the flow unintuitive and difficult to analyse your business data quickly. Annoyingly, whilst playing in the game there are UI overlays that constantly get in the way and popping up whenever they feel like it. Like when trying to access apps on your biz phone, or struggling to select buildings on your map. These gripes are really getting in the way of the gameplay experience. Other issues of the user interface, when working in your store it would be nice to see each sales transaction and be able to make business adjustments accordingly instead of waiting until the next day and hoping you have hit profit. With improvements the UI could be more streamlined and easier to navigate and with some quality of life changes it has a lot of potential but at present it's currently a bit of a letdown. With that being said, VGR rates it 
5 out of 10. Sound design for Big Ambitions is in line with what you would expect. From the UI clicks, alerts and notifications, they are subtle but satisfying to listen to. Even when you time lapse during work or while sleep, it really is nice to hear. The work they did with the voice actor for Uncle Fred is pretty fun whilst playing through the story. Nearly getting hit by a car gets your attention when they're papping their horn whilst jaywalking. There could be work done to the sounds of the engines when driving around as the gear changes do not match the engine speed and the Ferrari sounds more like a lawnmower than a 3.9 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine. Not much more needs to be said about the sound design, overall it is keeping with the style of the game and no doubt there will be changes to it as the game continues with development. So VGR will be giving it an 8 out of 10. Within a short amount of time, the community for Big Ambitions is quite large and rapidly growing for selling over 100,000 copies within a week. Right now, as the game is single player only, we cannot rate based on player interaction, but with over 11,000 members in their Discord, it's safe to say they have a decent following, and with the potential plans for a co-op PvP mode in the works, there will be plenty of opportunity to have a lot of player interaction. VGR rates the community of this game a 7 out of 10. As said in previous videos, development engagement is extremely important to the longevity of this game, especially in early access. I cannot count how many times have I invested in an early access game that is half finished and the devs ghost everyone. Based on the research and engagement within their Discord, you can see the developers are interacting with their community and making sure they are aware of bugs and problems. They have also released patches over the last few weeks so their engagement seems to be quite high. They have also given us a public roadmap showing us all of the features they are planning on adding as well as a dream features list and something I find really cool is that they have a countdown to the next update on their home screen of the game. Unfortunately it would get frustrating if they don't stick to the deadlines as we know game development doesn't always go to plan. VGR will rate development engagement 9 out of 10. At the end of the day, with the continued engagement from the developers, this early access game would keep getting better. With the amount of already existing features and hours of gameplay fun, you can keep picking this game up and imagining what your life would be like as a millionaire. We definitely recommend giving this game a go and investing your time into it. VGR rates this game overall 7 out of 10. If you liked this video and want to see more from us, please consider liking and subscribing, and if you have any ideas for our next review, please leave a comment down below. See you next time.